And greetings once again to all of you Razor Lurks and Rad Stags of the Commonwealth. I'm here today with another quick video about how to fix another small issue with the depth of field effect introduced with ENB 0.287 for Fallout 4. And this issue is that the focal point of the depth of field effect does not always exactly follow your cursor, where instead it sometimes trails behind or is a little bit off from where your cursor is positioned. Okay, so let's take a look. Starting off, everything looks fine. But now, as I move my cursor over the fence post, notice that it still remains blurry even though my cursor is positioned directly on top of it. Only when I move the cursor further down into the center of the fence post does it actually become clear and in focus. And in a similar fashion, when I move the cursor away from the fence post and over the background, notice that the fence post still remains in focus and the background out of focus. And this actually continues for quite a while. I can move the cursor quite a ways away from the fence post before the focal point adjusts. Now finally, all the way over here at the meat bags, I'm focusing on the background once again. So in casual play, this is not so noticeable, but for those of us who are a little bit more detail-oriented, this can seem like quite a nuisance. Now, the good news is there's a simple fix for this. Courtesy of King Eric over on the enbdev.com forums. King Eric, you are a gentleman and a scholar. In order to implement this fix, you're going to want to open the enbdepthoffield.fx file in a text editor, such as Notepad or Notepad++. Here I am in Notepad. This is one of the files that you install when you install ENB series for Fallout 4. So the value we're going to want to change is right here where it says chord for coordinate. And to make it easy for you to find this in the document, we are just going to search for the string tempcurr, T-E-M-P-C-U-R-R. -E Performing a search for this within the document will bring you right to this line. And here we are. You're going to want to replace chord with a value of 0.5, and then go ahead and save the document. Now, when we Alt-Tab back into the game, the changes do not yet automatically take place. In order to see the effect of our changes, first we open up the ENB menu with Shift-Enter, and in this menu, we just need to click the Apply Changes button. Now I'll go ahead and close my ENB menu. Now you'll see in the exact same position, the fence post, which was previously blurry, is now in focus. And as I move away, you'll notice now that the focal point of the effect immediately follows the cursor. So just as the cursor moves out of the area of the fence post, it becomes blurry and the background becomes clear. And again, moving back, you'll see we have the same effect. As soon as the cursor is over the fence post, it becomes clear. And again, moving out, it immediately becomes out of focus. This type of behavior is more typical for depth of field effects used in video games. And I certainly prefer it to the default behavior of the ENB depth of field effect. So I thought I'd share this with you. And once again, thanks a million to King Eric. Sir, you are one dashing fellow. And dashing, that's like handsome, only faster. Alrighty folks, that's all she wrote for today. I am still working on a new video to demonstrate the color correction capabilities of ENB series for Fallout 4. So be on the lookout for that. As always, I want to thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to stay tuned for more updates about ENB and other graphics and performance mods for Fallout 4. Catch you next time.